Good morning. This is Wednesday's short devotional from Black Rock Baptist Church, and we've been talking about being a great communicator, being a great listener. Um, this morning, I want to speak to you about moving beyond just saying words. You know, the things people say in a conversation are not nearly as important as what they're really feeling. What are they feeling underneath those words? Many times people say one thing and they're feeling something else. If, you've ever, if you're ever going to be a good listener, you need to be able to look past the words that people are saying, even if what they're saying might be offensive to you. Someone said hurt people hurt people. And words can be an effective weapon to do that. When people lash out or get defensive, it's often because they're afraid or insecure or they're just plain frustrated. You know what? Once you recognize people may be feeling those things, it's easier to focus on listening to what they're really trying to say. It's hard to be sympathetic when you think people are saying something unkind because, well, they just want to be spiteful or they just, they're just mean people. People's words don't always give you the complete picture. You sometimes have to look for that open nerve. What's going on deep down? You have to look at what someone has experienced, maybe. You have to ask why this issue is such a big deal for this person. You listen for the pain, understanding that sometimes the pain has nothing to do with you. Some pain is so deep it clouds every interaction someone has in their life. Their words are just a, a mask for the pain. Listening and learning to listen in love means looking past the things people are saying to what they might be feeling. First Peter chapter three, verse eight tells us to sympathize with each other, love each other as brothers and sisters in Christ, be tender-hearted, and keep a humble attitude. When you're humble, you're open to new ideas. When you're loving and sympathetic, you don't bite back at people. If people get angry with you, you know to look past that anger and, and ask, what are they really afraid of? What are they really anxious or fearful about? What's hurt them? You won't always know the answer to those questions. You won't know it well enough to figure out what's, what's pressing on their nerves. You may not be able to figure out what's going on with their emotions, and when that happens, you just have to give them the benefit of the doubt. Choose humility. Choose kindness over getting the last word. You have to show people grace instead of getting even or making your point. Even when faced with harsh words, a great listener always shows love. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Join with us again on Friday, and we'll finish up with these uh, little short devotionals on being a great communicator. Until then, let's continue to exchange prayers daily.